All right, so we finally got some news on MLB The Show 22. We all now know that Shohei Otani is going to be the cover athlete for the game. And if we're being realistic, Shohei Otani was probably like number one that most people probably would have guessed. Now, even though SDS's stream kind of going into the reveal was a little uh, awkward to say the least, it was still nice to find out who was going to be on the cover and then of course to be able to find out the release date. Now before we get into MLB The Show's website itself where they explain a few more things, we do have to mention that MLB The Show is no longer going to be on just PlayStation and Xbox. This year it is also coming to Nintendo Switch. So with that all out of the way, let's get to the website. So now that we're on the website, we have the features, we have the cover art, we have the pre-order, the next gen stuff. So let's quickly go over all of that just so you know what you're getting into. So the first feature that we have is Diamond Dynasty is back and better than ever. Play, collect, and build on your fantasy card collection and bring life on the diamond. Try the new mini seasons mode where each season brings new challenges as you face off against a new set of competition. So that probably means that we're going to be getting some sort of new mode into Diamond Dynasty. Uh, we really can't speculate a ton on what that could mean just yet. We're going to have to wait until they explain it to us in their streams that they usually do about a month leading into the game. Next up, we have create and use multiple ball players beyond your road to the show, personalized baseball RPG experience and customize your ball players exactly how you want to aid in your progression. So that means they're probably going to be giving us multiple ball players that we can create and they're probably going to change up a little bit how you get their attributes up and the limitations and all of that stuff because I think most of us could probably agree trying to get your attributes up on your uh, player this year was not that easy. You had to use all the different perks and the equipment to get them to what you would want them to be. Face your friends with cross-platform play with cross-progression. Continue your progress and earn and use content on other console platforms. So, of course, what they're saying is if you're playing on PlayStation, Xbox, Switch, you'll be able to play with everybody else. And then if you have uh, the game on multiple consoles, you can take the progression from one of the consoles and move it to the next. Stepping up to the plate for the first time, tell your experience with gameplay styles and two new difficulty settings to help you get the hang of the basics. So it looks like we're going to be getting two new difficulty settings. I don't know whether or not we're going to be getting two new pitch speeds as well, because if you're brand new to MLB The Show, every difficulty has like its own pitch speed. So we're probably going to see whether or not we're going to be having to deal with uh, more pitch speeds or not. Play March to October in your style with updated mode tools to utilize custom uniforms, logos and created stadiums. So I don't think March to October had a thing where you could make your own stadiums in it and use your own stuff. I'm not 100% on that because I never really played March to October a lot ever since the first year it came out. I've always been a DD Road to the Show and Franchise guy. I never really got into March to October, so I'm definitely not the best person to really talk about that mode. Preferably, I'd probably them not do it and then just focus all of that time on the franchise itself, but that's just me. Live out your dream baseball matchups with new legends joining the diamond. Of course, of course, we're going to be having new legends to join the game. We have that every single year. Next up, we got the next gen stuff. Of course, the stadium creator. Uh, now you can make night games in your stadium instead of just day games like you were able to do last year. Uh, the performance, you know, 60 FPS, 4K resolution. They want to give you all the stuff that you can do with it and make sure everything looks as nice and clean as it can be. And of course, more features to be announced. They're not just going to say everything from the get-go. They're going to want to save some stuff for later. Hopefully, we'll get some more stuff on Franchise. That's one of the modes that I'm hoping that they give us at least a little bit of stuff with. But that is to be seen. I haven't mentioned it, and it really doesn't say it on here as of yet. But the game does release on April 5th. And if it's like any other MLB The Show, there will probably be an early release as well for those of you that pre-order the game. Now, speaking about pre-orders, pre-orders are already up, so if you want to pre-order the game, you can do so on all three of the systems. However, I would say don't do it just yet. I would wait out until at least tomorrow where we learn about what's going to be in the deluxe editions of the games. If you're brand new to the game and you want to play online, there are perks that you can get for getting the bigger editions of the games. Like, as you can see here, 
If you get the current standard edition, then you're just going to get the game. That's all you get. But even if you get the next gen, if you get PlayStation 5, if you get Xbox Series S or X, you'll not only get the game, but you also get five of the show packs and 10,000 stubs, which is 10,000 currency in the game. Now, of course, I don't know what's going to be in the deluxe packs. I can only speculate. And the only thing I can really speculate with is what we've gotten at least last year. Now, I had to do just a little bit of digging to find all this stuff out because if you go to the website, all the stuff really for MLB The Show 21, I really can't find. I can't find the editions and what was in each of them. So I went to a different site. But in the game, if you get the deluxe edition, you not only get the game and a download code if you buy it for like the pre-generation, but you also get a cap. You're probably going to get a steelbook. Getting the deluxe edition would give you early access. Again, this is all just assuming that it's kind of the same as what's going to be this year. Last year, we also got a diamond choice pack, two gold choice packs, 10 the show packs, one equipment, 25,000 stubs, double dailies, and then immediate access to a bat skin. Uh, double dailies is just getting two cards when you log into a game every single day. But if you're not worried about getting the cap or the steel book, or anything like that and you really just want to get all the good stuff in the game itself then MLB The Show usually also does a digital deluxe pack which gives you a little bit more goodies now if you get the digital deluxe edition you're not only going to get the game but then you're going to get two diamond choice packs instead of one five gold choice packs instead of two and then the 10 show packs the 25,000 stubs the equipment pack and then the bat skin. So you do get a little bit more with the digital deluxe rather than just getting the deluxe and then getting the cap in the steel book. So it really comes down to the preference of what you believe will be best for you. But yeah, tomorrow we're gonna be learning about the deluxe edition, what's going to be in it, who is going to be on the cover, or will we? We might already know that. <laughs> But that's all I really have for you today. I'm going to be taking a look at the stuff, of course, tomorrow when it comes out. So I'll be able to talk to you then. But until then, thank you for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. And I hope to see you all next time.